What's up guys, I'm Brody Bass with the Outdoor News Junior Pro Team. Welcome back to another JPT video. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about eight helpful tips that will help you when it comes to bow hunting out of a ground blind. Tip number one, having a big or large blind is always nice. It helps you have more room to draw back your bow and also stay comfortable. Now this is also a good way to bring everything you might need on your hunt. Tip number two, you wanna make sure you place the ground blind days and weeks in advance before you go out on your hunt. Deer are always aware of their surroundings, especially with ground blinds. You wanna make sure deer have enough time to get used to the blind before you go out and hunt. Tip number three, you wanna make sure you brush in your ground blind. Don't just pop it up. Place some brush around the blind and blend it in with the surroundings. Tip number four, you wanna make sure it is completely dark inside your blind. You wanna make sure that all windows are completely shut around you, besides the ones that are out in front of you that you plan on hunting out of, or plan on shooting out from. Now this will make it easier so the deer don't see you from, won't catch any movement inside the blind. As long as you're back behind the very back corner of your ground blind, this will keep deer from seeing you or spotting any movement inside your blind. Tip number five, wearing black. When it comes to hunting out of a ground blind, inside the ground blind is typically black, right? The inside is always dark. Now, what I like to do is wear black when I'm hunting to blend in with my surroundings. It gives me a chance and another advantage of hunting deer because I'm also blending in with my surroundings and they can't really see me, right? But with rules and regulations for states um, in your state, you wanna follow by wearing the correct orange or wearing, um, wearing the correct gear. So before you decide to wear black in your ground blind, make sure you're following the rules and regulations for your state. Tip number six, watch all the windows when it's time to shoot. You wanna make sure the windows are open wide enough to where you, when you shoot with your bow, that you don't clip the bottom or the top or you end up hitting the blind and that will cause problems. That will make, that will make it to where you don't successfully hit your deer at all. That will be a big complete miss. I have made the mistake of clipping the ground blind. So I have learned this lesson and I highly recommend always watching your windows and your surroundings before you shoot. Tip number seven, use the train. Pop up blinds in areas where deer concentrate and use heavily and use the terrain to your advantage. Hide your blinds in cornfields and edges of woods and brush. Tip number eight, you wanna pay attention to sun rising and sunset directions. You wanna stay away from having the sun come directly into your primary windows. Having the sun coming directly through the blind can make it easy for deer to catch movement or spot you. So when it comes to setting up ground blinds, just pay attention to which way the sun is rising and setting. You don't want that sun to directly come into the blind and this will make, deer, make it easy for deer to spot you at any time. Here are a few of the best tips I can give you when it comes to hunting out of ground blinds. Now some of these tips I've given you are some that I have learned the hard way and I don't wanna see you make the same mistakes I did in my early years of hunting. For more information on the Outdoor News Junior Pro Team, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also make sure to tag us in your photos on any of our social media platforms to be featured on our page. Get out and enjoy the outdoors.